D2Gs, how you guys doing out there? Bring you another video, the GOAT video with the Nezarek Sins. Yes, sir. This is an OG right here. D Uno. D Uno Exotic. I mean, guys, I know there's a lot of exotics out there that's good, but this one right here, with the way that this whole entire season is set up with, you know, Prismatic, you got your Void, you got your strand you got your solder you got your everything else in between when you're using the nezarek sins you're gonna go ahead and be able to regen all of your abilities as fast as possible granted you're using adequate attire what do i mean by that you got yourself a void weapon that you're that you're trustworthy with with your nazarek sins and with this video this build right here guys you're going to be able to see everything come together everything in a domino effect you're going to be regenerating your abilities you're going to be gaining health every kill that you make is going to be giving you health regenerating your health bar you're going to be having overshields you're going to be having woven mail I mean, guys, survivability is no question, no doubt about it with this sale, with this way that this build is set up. And DPSing as well, too. You're going to be able to go ahead and DPS by weakening your targets. And I mean, you're good to go with this build right here, guys. So please sit back, relax, get ready to learn a little bit of what this build is all about and what the Nazarek sing, which is an oldie but goodie. That's why I call it the GOAT is all about guys i see you guys at the build and all the news right here don't go away And for the build, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Helion and we're using uh, Feed the Void. Helion, because every time we use our Phoenix Dive, we're going to get that Solar Buddy and that Solar Buddy does a lot of damage. Uh, it also helps us gain energy for our Prismatic Bar. Um, but nevertheless, it also provides Scorch and it also provides Radiance. So it's going to make us Radiance as well too. Uh, for the next aspect is going to be Feed the Void. Feed the Void will go ahead and provide us with Devour. What Devour does is it's going to go ahead and as soon as we use our abilities, it's going to go ahead and give us Grenade Energy and it'll help give us Restoration for our health. Devour also has a little timer for about 9 to 10 seconds. So whenever you're killing any ads, so long as you keep killing the ads, you're going to keep resetting that timer as well too, guys. Provided that if you're in a fire team and, and you know, they're not killing all of your ads for you <laughs> but for the most part this build is going to give you more other options for you to go ahead and regain your health regain um your grenades as well too guys so let's continue on so for our abilities we're using vortex grenade we're using arcane needles and we're using our phoenix dive which is the best one way to go 55 seconds but with this build you're going to be getting that probably about 10 to 15 seconds anyway so you're good to go no biggie for our supers we're using needle storm which is our strand super uh, for our frags we're going to go ahead and use fast out of courage because once we have tagged any of our enemies with our arcane needles which is considered a darkness um you're gonna go ahead and use your void grenades and or if you're using your graviton lance you're gonna be doing an increased damage to that target 
For the next frag is going to be Defiance. So here, because we're using our Strand Super, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of Sever. So Sever is going to allow us to, if we do headshots and we kill the, the um, enemies with our headshots, they're going to explode and they're going to create like this little field around them. And that field is going to go ahead and weaken all the other targets in that area as well too. So that's this is Sever is Strand's form of weakening. Okay. Uh, the next frag is going to go ahead and be Purpose. So here, because we're using our uh, strand super, we're going to be using the woven mail effect with this fragment. So by us picking up an overpower, it's going to go ahead and grant us uh, an overshield, which is uh, strand overshield. Okay. Uh, the next frag is going to go ahead and be balance. So here, by us using any of our light or any of our darkness abilities. Is going to go ahead and give us either grenade energy and or is going to go ahead and give us melee energy and for the last fragment is going to be dominance so this one because we're using our vortex grenade we're going to be weakening everyone okay for our, our armor what we're using here for the nazarek sin which is the main event of the build um is going to be uh heavy ammo finder we're using a harmonic siphon and we are using a void siphon so because we're using we have void weapons and we're using strand weapons every time we use those weapons we're going to be creating orbs of power um, and of course if you're using your void weapon you're going to be increasing your ability regeneration rate by using this exotic uh, for our gauntlets, we're going to go ahead and use uh, Grenade Kickstart, we're using Impact Induction, and we're using Bolstering Detonation. And of course, by you using one, it's going to help you gain energy for the other. So if you use your needles, you're going to get help you gain energy for your grenades. And if you use your grenades, it's going to help you gain energy for your needles. Uh, for chest piece, we're going to go ahead and use emergency reinforcement. We're using harmonics resistance and uh, void resistance. So here, any other resistance you want to go ahead and use for the activity that you're doing, you can go ahead and put that on. But emergency reinforcement is what you need because if you're doing any hard contact masters, grandmasters, uh, legendary law sectors, whatnot, and you don't happen to have uh, any of your abilities procked up like devour if you just pick up an orb of power you're going to be given a little bit less uh damage reduction okay so for your boots we're going to go ahead and use a uh, solar weapon surge we're using insulation and we're using innervation for our bond we're going to go ahead and use reaper we're using bomber and we're using powerful attraction so here this is one is the most important one which is reaper so every time you're using your class ability your next weapon final blow is going to guarantee you an orb of power which is once again what we want we want to have all options and possibilities to gain orbs of power as much as possible for our weapons what we have here with this one setup here is going to be the graviton lance which is the best wombo combo for uh, the Nezarek sins um, and we're using the call which is going to also help us because it's considered darkness um, we're going to go ahead and help our darkness meter for prismatic uh, and get that as fast as possible here i have it set up with hatchling and left from goal hatchling for every possibility for every time i do a headshot or a kill um, I'm going to be at least 80% of the time granted threadlings and those threadlings are going to go ahead and seek out the next ad and of course it still do damage. Um, and for heavies, I'm using an Apex Predator, but you can choose to use, which sometimes I do swap that with our Fate Keeper. This is one of the uh, new uh, um, rocket launchers from uh, Echoes. So it's also perfectly well, it goes very, very well with this build. Okay, guys. Um, now for our uh, artifact bots. These are the next four that are best suited as well. That's going to help us out greatly. So expanding abyss, where we use our void, any void source is going to go ahead and do weakening. Uh, we have our shield crush, which in this situation, we have our woven mail and any of our artifacts that any of our things that we use is going to go ahead and grant us energy for our grenade recharge rate uh radiant orbs we're going to be using as well and void and i may butcher this one up but it's going to be void uh, hegemony a uh, hegemony or however heck you pronounce that use these four right here guys <laughs> all right and try and get that triple 100s i'm almost there guys with this build but for the most part you want to have that resilience you want to
want to have 100 resilience you want to have 100 on a discipline and the next one for all warlocks is going to be recovery because you want your abilities back as fast as possible and with that guys this would be the end of the video and i really do appreciate you guys for stopping by i'm gonna leave you guys a little bit with this last clip here this is gonna be the uh, uh legendary law sector well it's no longer legendary it's expert <laughs> so i'm leaving you guys with the last little clip of the expert lost sector um this build like i said it'll, it'll take care of all your needs and almost any activity um of course if you're doing you know grandmasters masters you're with the fire team of three and those activities are meant for you know an activity of a fire team so if you're doing a solo dolo by all means it'll still work out in your favor but for the most part you know you're gonna be good to go it's gonna go ahead and take care of all your needs and help you out and help everybody else out as well on their fire team guys so once again i appreciate you guys for stopping by please like subscribe and i will see you guys on the next one peace that's all the time we have